What does it mean to be a leader in what you do? The, the indication of a good leader is somebody who is able to synthesize on, a fly, on the fly. Mm -hmm. So even um, you know, attending an event and being able to hear the different things people are saying and then have a point of view that brings all of that together, yeah. I think is, is a really good indicator of a, of a creative leader. Uh -huh. um, and then how to translate that into something that's meaningful for the people that you're working with, right? Because mm -hmm. it's one thing to have a vision, it's another thing to be able to help other people or help yourself execute on it. Mm -hmm. So th those two things, like the, the high level, I see where we're going, it may not be defined, but trust that this is I have an intuitive notion that this is where we should be. And then here's, in a collaborative way, here's what we should be doing. And then also listening listening from down below and recognizing, like getting a little bit, I think a good creative leader is confident in how they communicate, but they're not, um, they're not bound by ego. So they're willing to, and, and constantly listening to the people around them mm -hmm. and, and um, aware that they don't always have the right answer. Mm -hmm. But it's, it's kind of a, our responsibility to put something out there and be okay if it's wrong. So right. it just gives people something to respond to. Yeah. Um, because it's not it's not always about being right, but it's about getting the right conversation started and yeah. getting to the right solution eventually. In what context do you see people coming to you and looking for your leadership? It's it's happened, I'm, I'm still new to this role at Frog. So a lot of people come to me when there's a specific ask around a skill set that I have. So if they're about to facilitate a large workshop, they'll want to run something by me or they'll want me to be involved in helping shape that, right? And and um, and it's it's fun for me because I get to, that's the best position to be in because I'm not toiling over the stuff. I'm totally removed, but I get to, and it's always, you always give them a couple things and they're like, that's brilliant. Awesome. I mean, it is it is the best feeling ever to not have to be invested to be able to come in and provide a little bit of perspective because you're not stuck in the muckety muck. Right. Um, so I, I think that that's going to happen more and more often with the areas where I have a lot of expertise, facilitation, design research, um, you know, some interaction design stuff. People will have me come in and provide a little perspective and or maybe, you know, think about ha help them think about something differently. Um, or just validate that what they're doing is, is right. Sometimes that's all people need is a little bit of like encouragement that they're on the right track. Yeah. So so that happens, but it happens right now on a very tactical level. Like here, I'm working on this thing, come to this board and look at this work and tell me what's going on. Or, you know, we've been sketching out this outline for a workshop. Will you come tell us what you think about it? Um, and, and it has happened. It does happen a lot, um, especially with clients that I have a good relationship with before we even have a project on the kind of shaping of the program level and what yeah. should we be doing for this client. If I know them well, I get brought into the conversation to help figure out, based on my experience, what what we think the, the details of the, the program should be or what we really think their end goal is. Right. So uh, that that's, that's a cool position to be in, to have enough um, enough experience and enough variety to be useful in those types of scenarios.